Wait, please don't scroll. Today is February 14th. You know what that means? Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. You know, whether you are, you know, couple, you know, single person, you know, anywhere in between there. And, you know, whether you are, this is the best day of your life or this is the worst day of your life or you're anywhere in the middle. I'd just like to talk to you guys real quick, mostly for my single people out there, you know. Today's an interesting day. It's all about love, all about being with that special someone. And, you know, sometimes it's tough when you're single. But, you know, think about all the single people in the world. Think about one person, the most perfect person ever, the only perfect person ever to exist, the only perfect human ever, Jesus, single his whole life. Think about that real quick. Jesus is single his whole life. Think about all the ways that he was used by, the, by God and how many great things Jesus did for the Lord. How many things God did through him and worked through a single person, you know? Think about that. Think about just because you're single does not mean that God cannot use you in some way and that you cannot glorify the kingdom in some way. So I want you to think positively about today, you know? Just because you're single does not mean you are not loved. It does not mean that you cannot be the best person, the best Christian that you can be and that you cannot fulfill your purpose. You know, someone may tell you, you know, once you get married, you know, or once you meet that certain person, that's when you're going to, your life's going to be complete. You know, you're going to be whole. That's when it's going to be, just, you know, a different type of you. That's not necessarily true. For some people, you know, they meet that person and it's a changing moment in their life, you know. But for some of us in our singleness, that is the best place for us to be. And sometimes that is exactly where God wants us to be in that moment. You know, maybe he's using your singleness for a reason. Let God use your singleness for a reason, you know, for that purpose. He's saying, you know, don't. He's saying, you know, look away. You don't have a person to put all that time into. Put all your time, all your effort into me and loving me. Not me, me. No, me, the Lord. Put all your time to loving the Lord and giving him everything you have. You know, you don't have to love that other person as some people have to. You know, you are a single person. You are able to love the Lord with all your might. You're supposed to do that all the time. And you don't have that focus of another person. So God is using your singleness for a reason. Trust in it and use it the way that he wants you to. And do his purpose for you, even in your singleness. And you will be able to find your purpose. You know, God has that purpose out there for you. And so don't lose hope in this day. You know, take this day to another level. Be like, you know, there is one person who will love me forever, no matter what. And more than any person on the earth could. And that's God. And that's Jesus. You know, he is the only person that can love you that much. And, you know, come down from heaven and die for you. So nobody else out there can love you like that. So if you're looking for that out there, there's, there, you're not going to find it out there. You're not going to see it. You know, God in your heart, he's going to work through you. You know, he loves you already, no matter what. He already loves you more than infinitely, more than anyone else ever could. So think about that today on this Valentine's Day. And if you're a couple, you know, congratulations to you guys. Go couples, go love, you know, go you. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Hope this day is amazing for you.